Hey everyone, if you are uh, ready to apply for a passport or passport renewal, you should watch this video because I had a pretty uh, intense experience when applying for a passport. So watch this video. First things first, I would recommend everyone to do a proper research at home before you go into a passport office or a service scanner. This saves a tons of time for you guys. Okay, let's get started. Uh, Google apply for Passport Canada. I found the second link is a direct link. In this page, you got a couple of options for you here. So based on when do you need a passport? So that's a big question that you need. If you need a passport uh, within two business days or less, or do you need passport three to 45 business days or less, or you need 45 business days or more. So based on your requirement, this is very important for you. If you're traveling within two business days, which means a family emergency or anything, you should uh, uh, focus on following these options here. The first thing is you can click the passport office link right there and you can quickly select the closest passport office. I live in Scarborough. So the closest one is for me at town center. That's a three kilometers from there. And then the second one is going to be the walk-in only no appointments because since it's an emergency service, you get only walk-ins. The third one is uh, the interesting thing that I saw here is a check in check walk-in wait times. So what you can, you can go there, uh, click Scarborough, find locations, and you see the check walk-in wait times. You can actually see uh, the wait times, the estimated wait times there. Today is Saturday, so it says the office is closed, but it will be updated uh, three times every business day at 9.30 a.m., 12 p.m., and 2 p.m. local time, which means you can actually, actually see how much is the wait time estimated time so you say it's an interesting feature they added into it and then extra fees is apply for that you must provide proof that you need the passport which means you have to submit an airline bus or train ticket if traveling by car a written statement explaining why you need to travel a travel itinerary showing proof of payment a proof of illness or death in the family requiring you to travel a written statement from you or the third party explaining why you need the passport for example for legal banking or residency requirements. They also give some kind of warning here. If we can't deliver the passport in time to you or your child, we are liable, we aren't liable for any losses. They also say they recommend that you don't finalize any travel plans until you get the passport. All these documents has to be printed. You have to give them a copy. Please do not take uh, a digital copy. So print it. Um, and if you click adult passport here, it'll show you apply for a uh, Adult passport in Canada, two business days or less. Go to a passport office with the urgent pickup service, additional fees, proof you do you need the passport. They also say do the don'ts, don't book an appointment, don't go to a regular service Canada center, which will uh, not be helpful for you. Before you go to a passport office, you make sure you complete the form below. There's a form at the at the bottom of this page. Uh, get your supporting documents and two passport coffee copies. You also make sure that you have to find a guarantor and two references. Very important. Uh, a guarantor can be someone who is a Canadian citizen, and they should be able. They should know you at least. I think two years. So we'll talk about this in the in the video. Uh, get the forms. You should this way. You get the forms. You uh, you have to f f follow these instructions here, and you can get the forms right there. Same thing if you're applying for your child's passport. All you have to do is extra step like, you know, who can apply for a child's passport, like follow all these things. At the bottom, you'll get the forms. So this is one way you get the two business days or less. And if you are going uh, within three to four business days and you're traveling, same thing, go to a passport office. You can book an appointment actually uh, within the three to five business days travel time. You can book an appointment, same check-in wait times. Also, you should provide the proof that you need a passport. Here they give you in a processing may take up to two weeks plus mail time, which means your, your minimum uh, days that you get your passport is up to two weeks and it can be more too. And same thing, you click the adult passport, child passport here. And here it's something different. Uh, 46 business days or more, you don't go to a passport office, but you go to a service Canada center. So you click the link right there. 
again search the location and it will show you multiple service kind of locations what they usually do is they collect all the documents in these centers and they will follow to the passport office because you got, they got you got a lot of time to receive your passport to make sure that you go to the service kind of center instead of a passport office and then you can book an appointment as well and if you book an appointment it's easier for example people who work you go to service Canada center you book an appointment for example you click there it will ask you the services in english and what kind of services that you need so earliest travel date you don't have a travel date that is valid because you, you don't have to travel within the next 46 days and if you're traveling to business or, or less you don't do it here so even though it shows here you don't do anything here and if you travel between three and five business days again you won't receive within nine weeks so you don't do it here i would recommend put travel in 46 business days or more because this is like will take you back to the same two other tabs that we saw before okay and once you click this one it'll follow the steps you can book an appointment right there i uh, can also apply by mail you know that different you know the difficulties of applying mail because it will take some one or two days to go even if you do express and then they will deliver it back to you through the mail so it'll say something is a different it's a difficult process for you guys so i would appreciate or i would uh, recommend you to go in person uh, processing may take up to nine weeks plus the mail time if you're doing by mail so they clear, clearly given you up to the nine weeks. There are a lot of complaints that a uh, lot of people didn't receive their passport even after nine weeks. So a lot of delays happening at this moment. So this is the first step when you need to apply for a passport. Cool. So let's get started with the filling the form and what forms you should be uh, uh, filling. So you click adult passport right there. And then you choose any one of this lost or stolen, damaged, none of the above, whatever that you click, it's going to give you the same um, the, uh, application form, which is PPTC 153. I already downloaded right there. So this is the application form. You have to fill your personal information, anticipated travel date, uh, your declaration of guarantor. And then you can previous, if you have any previous Canadian travel document, proof of Canadian citizenship. If you are the first time or renewal or lost or stolen, whatever that is, and documents support your identity, like um, a license, a period of validity. Uh, choose one of the following periods of validity, which is five years or 10 years. You see that one right there. It, uh, a lot of people choose uh, 10 years and uh, your addresses before and then the references, emergency contact information and then um, The main thing is the requirement checklist. All three pages of the application form completed and signed within the last 12 months. Two identical and unaltered passport photos within the last six months. Proof of Canadian citizenship. Uh, document to support identity. Any valid, valid, valid Canadian travel document. The fee. If you want to see the fee, it's like a five years uh, where the application is made in Canada and the passport is to be delivered in Canada which means you get a five years, $120, 10 years is $160. If you are uh, from USA or delivered to USA, the price is different, so you can check that as well. You can also check all the rules and regulations, methods of payments, credit card information. If you're applying in person, you should be able to uh, uh, a passport program to regional office or a participating a service Canada center. Applying by mail, these are the addresses that you got here. If you check all these addresses, and then the contact information, anticipated travel date, personal information, declaration of the guarantor. This is what I'm going to talk about quickly. Uh, the guarantor should be uh, able to communicate in English or French, be a Canadian citizen 18 years of age, hold a five year or a 10 year Canadian passport that is valid or expired within 12 months of the, of the date of the passport program receives this application. So quickly read this properly because it's very important. You should have known this uh, person at least for two years. So make sure that uh, it could be a friend, family or anybody, but you should know this person at least for two years. They should be a valid Canadian citizen. The passport should be like, you know, validity, uh, should be like a five year, 10 year validity. So make sure that's there. So quickly uh, go through this one. This is very, very important for you guys. Um, 
pretty much that's everything proof of Canadian citizenship, which means you get a, if you're applying for the first time or a new uh, passport, they will give you a certification. So uh, use that one like a certificate of Canadian citizenship, these ones. And the passport photo, which is very important, you get take two photos. Uh, the one should be the, uh, the photography studio will give you something like this at the back. So the guarantor should be signed. The mistake which I did is like I forgot to get the signature of the guarantor at the back of the photo. So make sure you don't do that mistake. I did the mistake so I have to come back again. It's You don't want to do that. Trust me, you don't want to do that. So make sure you get the uh, guarantor signature in the application form and also in the photo which is very very important. That's why I'm telling you again, don't forget to get the signature of the guarantor at the back of your picture. I went into the passport office 7.30 a.m. in the morning and I was so shocked to see that even 100 people are waiting even in the early morning. So I waited in the line for half hour to one hour and the security mentioned that if we don't have the travel itinerary, we cannot be here. So if you don't have the travel itinerary, please do not go and wait in this line. It is a waste of time. So I asked a few questions and I left for the day but I sneaked in my camera to show you guys how many people are waiting in the line. It was actually crazy. Half of the people didn't even make it to the door of this place because it was so busy. Day two, I went at 6 a.m. at the passport office hoping I'll be the first person at the door. I was so wrong because people are waiting there from 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Uh, 10 people were waiting inside the line. So I was uh, 15th or 20th person in the line. And after waiting for four hours, I finally got into the building. When I walked into the building, I also see there is again a lineup of people waiting. These people are appointments from yesterday. They're just coming in. They are waiting to go to another office where people are checking the documents and giving us token to go to the second floor. I went to the second floor and I saw the processing office. After waiting for five and a half hours, I got into the counter at 11.30 a.m. when my number came. And I did not get the signature on my uh, passport photo by my guarantor. So I was sent back. I was given another date to come back to submit the documents. I also saw there's a passport photo inside the uh, passport office. Day three, I went into the passport office and then I submitted the documents. They gave me two weeks time. And then day four, I went to get the passport finally 10 things to remember before you apply for a passport first thing first do your research it will save you lots and lots of time second thing fill your application without errors because if you fill with error you have to go back again you have to go through this process all over again uh, check the checklist double check if you got all the documents passport photos uh, got signature from the guarantor and everything which is very very important visit one day earlier to the nearest passport office and ask any questions you have just like um, uh, what time people start lining up uh, how, what time can I get into the building uh, how long will it take because it depends on the passport office as well so it's better if you visit uh, one day earlier to ask some questions pack food and water you will definitely need it because I was waiting there for almost like a six hours in the passport office and I luckily I got some water and food so please pack your food and water it's important uh, might as well take a day off at work you may think that I can finish the work in the morning and go back in the afternoon it's really tough so please make sure you take off uh, at work you might have to go another day for a pickup because you won't get the passport right away they will give you another date even if it's an emergency or if it's like a couple of weeks you have to go back again but the thing is, you don't have to wait in the line, so you don't have to worry about those. Uh, wait times are longer than the usual, may not get on time. So this means you may not get your passport on the specific time they mentioned. Um, it could be delayed, so don't get frustrated, it might happen. Uh, better not plan your travel until you have your passport because, as I said, the wait times are actually longer than usual. It, you may not get the passport on time. Have a lots and lots of patience because you, you might thought that yeah, you filled everything, you got all the documents properly, you filled everything, every line uh, correctly, but you never know. So have lots and lots of patience and good luck. If you like this video and if anyone is applying for a passport, they need this 
information because they don't want to waste their time they don't want to get frustrated please share this video if any of your friends or family is applying for a passport or renewing their passport